Stuart Copeland of the police said they tried to start a feud with the band Rush, but it didn't work. They didn't bite back. I'm John Bowden from Rock History Music. Dave Lifton just wrote this interesting piece on Ultimate Classic Rock about the police really trying to get some press by saying some bad stuff about Rush, but it didn't work. He's hosting Classic Rock Week on HDNet where they're doing a lot of documentaries on Leonard Skinner, Nelton John, and tonight it's Rush. They're playing Rush, The Rise of the Kings, 1968 to 1981. Copeland decided to share some stories. He says, they're Canadian. They are the best guys on the planet. I don't know if being Canadian has anything to do with it, but Rush are one of the best hangs in show business. Back when my band The Police were a struggling punk rock band, just trying to make noise and cause attention and throwing bombs wherever we could, Rush, that's some place where we threw bombs. The thing, however, is the band Rush did not bite. They took it all in stride. Copeland continues, and years later, it turns out Rush, the guys in the band, Neil Peart, is so Canadian that he didn't even mind. And we became really good friends in spite of the fact that we used to criticize his band when we were just trying to get attention. I think he's old and wise and Canadian enough to understand all that. They could be nicer if they were New Zealanders. Also a nation that only produces good people. Only saw the band The Police once, October 25th, 1980. I am Canadian in Edmonton, Alberta, Canada. I had a 1973 Camaro, and I remember on the way to meeting the band, and just this is just a year before I got into radio, on the way to meeting the band, I got into a small car accident. I, I, I love this vehicle so much. It was blue with a vinyl top, and, and I got into the, a minor fender bender on the way to meeting them. Anyway, when we met the police, they were gruff and wild and uh, I, I, I was taken aback a little bit when meeting them because they were just, came off like punks but i really got that the guys were on a roller coaster back then i really really got that maybe not so much at the time because i was young too i think i was i would have been 20 at the time 21 but what do you do to get excitement huh <laughs> it's only rock and roll leave your comments we'd love to hear from you and we're still going through all the folks all of you who have contacted us to be a volunteer for our little youtube channel but we've gotten hundreds and hundreds of people contacting us. And I, I want to I, I want to say thank you, but we're still going through them. And the folks we have contacted, we're going to get back to you. Thanks for buying our t-shirts. We appreciate that. Make sure you comment on our videos, subscribe to our channel, and share our videos. I'm John Bowden. This is Rock History Music.